it's Dr. Lori. I'm at Urban Renewal Consignment in Marietta, Georgia, outside Atlanta. Come shopping with me. I'm in the back room. That's right, behind the scenes. I want to give you the inside scoop. So there's this tub of stuff that came in that they asked me if I would take a look at, which of course I will. Let's start right here with Richard Prince for Louis Vuitton. Huh, how about it? Um, this is a Louis Vuitton a Petite Weekender. Me, I couldn't go with just what's in a weekend, this small of a weekender, just for away for the weekend. But this is a, a beautiful bag from about 2008. And um, it is one of their international uh, style bags with the graffiti. I really like it. Um, it's, it's vinyl. It's beautiful. And it has the characteristic Louis Vuitton logo that you see a lot of. And um, it is many different tones. So you've got the yellow handles, which are the leather, which is very typical of Louis Vuitton. It has the Louis Vuitton. Now it's been used a little bit. It has the Louis Vuitton lock. Um, sometimes you don't find the Louis Vuitton lock on a lot of the vintage bags, so when you do find it, it really is sort of a score. Um, there's that. Let's open it up and take a look. What are you looking for? You're looking for, of course, the nice silver-toned metal zippers with the Louis Vuitton logos. You want to see those. This one also has a tag, obviously a luggage tag, um, and they usually stay with the bags. They also have some logo tags, too. But you can see it has been used. There's a little bit of staining on it, but minor. And then we also have a front zipper. And here's another Louis Vuitton label um, for the front zipper. The zippers are a little hard. When the zippers are a little hard, I do want you to be aware of that. Notice the interior. On some of these bags, you will see the Louis Vuitton interior logo lining. And uh, that's one of the telltale signs of the real thing. This was designed by a early 2000s designer named Richard Prince and known for these, you know, sort of younger looking pieces for Louis Vuitton. There's Richard Prince's signature on that logo tag. And then it also indicates the date. So when the piece was actually made. Doesn't look like it's been used too much. Because, you know, because to me, for a weekender, you can't fit much in it. You know, it's kind of an oversized purse. <laughs> But it's really nice. It's in good shape now. Um, I don't know if they have, I don't think they put any prices on any of this. As I said, I like it when we have the stuffing for these bags because it does keep its shape. It presents it better. So if you guys are resellers, you want to think about presenting these pieces well too. Don't forget about the stitching. The stitching is very important. Also, on some of these materials, you'll have double stitching, right? double stitching right here against this material this nice zipper nice and taut so I don't think this has been used too much at all but it is, it is vintage uh, it dates from 2008 it really has all the things that you're looking for particularly the Louis Vuitton sort of the up the upscale and also the updated Louis Vuitton logos that's beautiful notice also one of the telltale signs of Richard Prince is the unusual feet so reinforced with the same leather that matches the handles but you also have very strong feet and notice where they're positioned they're not out here they're inside a little bit more of the body of the bag to support the whole underweight of the bag because the idea is that this bag is going to be used for you know a quick weekend overnight stay someplace so you're really going to jam a lot of stuff into this bag so you have to have the support that's why you have this piece coming across the bottom too um, so construction has a lot to do, design has a lot to do with, of course, the high-end designers, but construction, durability, and also quality have a lot to do with why many of these designers have stood the test of time and have been able to command such high prices for so long. And I would say a price for this, based on actual sales records where similar pieces have sold, just about $1,750 for this one. See? Now, when I looked at it a different way I found something else you see right here right in there right in there is a little bit of damage so somebody who's really looking and that was just because I moved it around and I, I looked at it from a different vantage point you could see that there is a tear right there in the vinyl so that's gonna be a problem that's gonna decrease the value probably as much as 25 percent that's a big deal um, so you got to be looking at all from all angles and this bag is Bottega Veneta and Bottega Veneta it is a tote bag it's woven leather 
and they're brown. It's pretty characteristic and not a heck of a lot to look for other than you're looking at the Bottega Veneta name. And the telltale sign is the structure of it. And also, um, again, this label, which is all the way down in the back. If you look straight down, you can see large, um, very large stitching. And all of the workmanship is really in the, the tote and how the tote has been woven. So the nice interweaving of the actual tote. It says that it is, in fact, authenticated. So it says that this is an original, authentic Bottega Veneta bag. Um, beautiful. And I like to smell the leather. You know, I can sort of, over time, you can smell the leather and how, how beautiful it smells. But this is a tote bag. Now, these usually retail somewhere in the $1,200 range. I think in this environment, you probably could command somewhere in the $750 to $800 range. That's basically what you're looking at for this. Looks like it's in very good shape. It has been used. Um, but these are sort of the Italian shopping bags. So you'd go and you'd get your, your bread, your Italian bread, and you'd get some flowers and maybe a bottle of wine or such, you know, outside of Florence on your way home to Tuscany kind of thing. And uh, this would be the bag that you would use for every day. We've got a medium dove gray Fendi from Rome. And this one has the removable shoulder strap um, and the pebbled leather in the dove gray. Now, dove gray, sort of a taupe color, uh, popular, very popular, relatively recent. And this one is by Fendi. I do see a little blemish here. It's possible that that blemish could be removed. But in trying to price these pieces, we really have to think about that. But some of the things that you want to look for if you have a Fendi bag. Fendi has its characteristic interior pieces. Well, we got all kinds of stuff in there. So what you see here is you're seeing, again, the Fendi logos on the inside. A center seam zippered pocket, also characteristic of Fendi. And on that... On that actual piece, you have a nice easy zipper. So it's not one of those small zippers. So you can really actually fit some stuff in there. Two pockets that are separated. And then you want to look for some of the telltale signs. So you want to look for, of course, the Fendi logo on the front. And you want to look for the Fendi logos on the strap. So here's the strap. And this strap you can remove or not. Inside, another label that also helps you to characterize it that you're looking for is the black Roma, made in Rome, Italian, of course, Fendi label. That's sewn right into that middle zippered pocket. So it's really, it's very nice. It's in good shape with the exception of that one blemish. It does look like there's been more wear on the interior than it is to the exterior. The piece looks like it's in, in pretty good shape. And these are just snaps. So you can actually, you don't have to worry about that whole belt thing. You can just unsnap this, and then you can make it longer or shorter as you want it. Wow, those are strong snaps. But that's a beautiful bag. And this bag, I would say, about $350 in this condition. It's in good condition. If they can get that blemish off, then I'd probably say add another 35%. They're beautiful, but I would break my neck. I never wore heels. Uh, maybe I wore them to my sister's wedding and maybe a graduation. These are Manolo Blahnik, and they're luscious. They're beautiful, but I can't wear them. So Louis Vuitton tote. I have to say, one side looks okay. This side looks pretty good. And then you turn it, and you see that this side took all the beating. The strap really is not in great condition at all and here it's starting to actually rip come away from the hardware so that's going to be problematic even though it's a big nice Louis Vuitton a very very classic Louis Vuitton style um, the logo style as well and on the interior you have what you're looking for which you're looking for the Louis Vuitton zipper logo and you're looking for um, again all of the other aspects of Louis Vuitton. One more part, one more label that you want to look for because you want to make sure that you have authentic pieces when you're looking at these vintage pieces and that's right here. This Louis Vuitton uh, logo is also found on the interior of the bag uh, right where the zipper is. So you've got two of them right there 
to Louis Vuitton logos right there. Notice how Louis Vuitton has the lining, has actual, it goes down pretty far before it hits the lining on the interior. But it, it's, a, it's a nice piece, it's in good condition. It has uh, this element which actually connects to what's this little bag that I took out. I know a lot of you are like, what was that little bag she moved? What was that little bag she moved? Inside is this little bag. So another Louis Vuitton and that goes with it and it has again the same remember the logo they don't like to cut off the LV Louis Vuitton logo the piping is still in good shape magnet is pretty strong and then on the interior there's a Louis Vuitton there's a Louis Vuitton so you have again that the reinforcement of the logo on the hardware and the inside of this little purse this little um, really little tiny purse and I don't know if you can see it, but right inside, there's also a Louis Vuitton label. You can see it's kind of embossed onto the interior lining, but it's all the same color, so it's hard to see. It's just an embossed piece. The piece looks in good condition, and I would say value on this is going to be in the $250 range because it's in good condition, but in fact... And it has its own bag, but alone you're going to see about $250 for this particular piece. Why? Well, it's useful. A lot of people like it. Um, but I would say there's so many of them out there that you're not going to command a lot for that one. This piece, unfortunately, really has seen better days. But it's a big Louis Vuitton. People like the vintage look. But this, this area that was damaged, that would have to be repaired. So you'd have to invest probably a couple hundred bucks to have that repaired. Value on this bag in this condition, I would say is going to be just about $650 in this condition because it's so large. I left the treasures for you. More videos to come.